All right, guys, here we go. Once again, it is the Calvin Ball semifinals, which in some ways uh, were more interesting than the finals. Uh, so far, we have seen uh, both Team Jeral and Team Cryptos, the most bizarre captains perhaps that you could imagine here, uh, making unbelievable plays. And all, almost all of these games have been determined, as I've said before, by a one man or just a couple of men making spectacular um, gameplay maneuvers that uh, have, have been uh objective based they've been making sure to win the game on objectives and that is again so key when you're playing uh, world war ii in a tournament style setting so here we go we've got team Jeral with once again lord scariel karma mp mint chip father xmas and spy and they have traded for no cannons and they are up against cryptos xenophon hobbs leonardo schmalkus gorilla and overdose who has returned so this will of course give uh, team cryptos that player advantage which means they might be able to be even more uh, aggressive than they've been so far or uh, potentially uh, more defensive, you know, who's to say what could happen? Uh, Leonardo says he's again going the swamps with Schmalkus. That didn't work out for them too well in the last game, but uh, maybe this time they'll get lucky. Karma is once again going to defend on the swamps, and uh, he's telling the rest of his team, rest of the team, to go on the planes. Spy says he wants to go planes as well. Jeral says he's going to take care of that defense, which he's been doing uh, quite well in some of these games so far. Team Jeral seems to be slower on the deploy. That mid-pile getting scorched. I like Team Cryptos' deployment. They are have much better map presence. This is undoubtedly going to be Hobbs with those opportunistic spam. Loves to get those uh, opportunistic RPGs. Not uh, having a lot of effect with those, but uh, what can you say? He's shooting at nobody, really. Spy is there with Father Xmas. That pile's going to get scorched. That's almost going to cost Father Xmas a unit. He should probably clear out of there and heal. Without that, uh, that was uh, wise stuff, though, I believe, uh, from Leonardo there to make sure that that pile was scorched. Leonardo said he was going to be on the swamps, so strange to see him on the plains. <laughs> this isn't Swamps, he says. I might have been a little confused about what was going on this game. But he is now in a heavy part of this planes attack with Overdose and Xenophon and Hobbs. They are, of course, also taking care of the situation in the Swamps. Kryptos blowing up one of Karma's units there. Karma was trying to get this pile. Schmalkus is there. That pile is going to be blown potentially by Kryptos right here. Now he misses on that. They need to blow this, though, to prevent... Karma from re-equipping Schmalkus. So many RPGs being rained down on Karma. He is in a lot of trouble here. And now it will be on Schmalkus to take him out. He's uh, Karma tossing grenades. That pile is still contested. There, it is finally going to be blown by Kryptos. That was a smart move to, to take out that pile. Here is Gorilla, who is going to get one of Karma's units. Karma, of course, as we saw, is fighting in the swamps. So Gorilla has a chance here. He's going to take out that Karma zombie. But, uh, of course, I don't know if he'll be able to make a move on the uh, flag. We'll keep an eye on that, though. As you can see, it is getting intense on the planes. Hobbs and Xenophon leading that charge. Looks like Leonardo cleared out. Tons Swamp, says Overdose. Leonardo says we're still up somehow by 5%. So the planes attack was a disaster. And it has enabled Spy to capture that pile, uh, what remains of it. And they are now going on a counterattack. The flag is being contested, though, by Gorilla. What a madman. Trying to make a move. He is taken out there by Lord Scariel, watching that defense, I think, with Father Xmas and Geral. Karma is finally taken out there by Schmalkus. Who will be able to heal up. This is going to give uh, Team Cryptos a good advantage. Although they need to uh, reinforce the planes. That was a brilliant attack from Hobbs against Lord Scariel. Spy laughing at Karma being knocked out there in the swamps. Uh, but again, this is uh, necessary for Team Cryptos to sort of reinforce this. They are badly outnumbered here. MP Mint with Spy and Lord Scariel working on Hobbs. Just Hobbs and Overdose. Karma saying they have four deep swamps. He is, he is well aware since he was there when uh, Schmalkus took him out. 
But the planes is going to fall. Hobbs is getting gunned down there. He is taken out. Xenophon is coming to reinforce, but it's going to uh, quickly retreat, I think, once he realizes how this is going to go. Overdose is going to have to run. Uh, he is being attacked from all sides here by Empiment, LSO, and Spy. Help out planes, says Xenophon. The defense will have to get into gear here. Luckily, they've got plenty of men back there. Leonardo with Xenophon. And they're going to work on this slot, no doubt. Try to prevent Empiment and Spy and Father Xmas from slipping through there as those RPGs are being tossed. Meanwhile, Schmelkis is in, almost in the backfield, almost made it all the way back there. He's being countered by Karma once again. So uh, Schmelkis must, of course, be somewhat annoyed to be having defeated Karma to once again be fighting him, but that tends to happen when these guys are judicious with their spares. Very little action in the mid. Lord Scarell grabbing a heal. Kryptos reinforcing the planes. That is certainly the field of action here. Uh, it is on Schmelkis to get that backfield uh, for Team Kryptos, but it is all on Team Jarl to win the planes now, which they are trying to do. Hobbs getting perfectly zooked there, I believe, by Empiment. Of course, once again, always difficult to come through this slot. Stop going planes, says Gorilla. Just let them come up, says Leonardo. He's right about that. He is back here picking up gear with Hobbs. They just need to hold this. No reason to attack uh, through here, as it is entirely on Team Jarrell to make the attack happen. And, of course, Team Jarrell is down in percentages. You can see that they are splitting up. Father Xmas going for the mid while Spy is trying to get into the backfield. Schmalka is still trying to hold this down. He's taken out there by Lord Scariel with the defense as he's still battling against Karma. I think Schmalka is in trouble here. Lord Scariel and Karma have got his number. Schmalka is trying to get Karma. There's some <laughs> bayonets going down there. They trade bayonets. Karma is going to bayonet uh, Schmalka here, though, as Lord. Uh, he's not able, finally able to do it, but uh, Lord Scariel is able to take him out. That is going to give Team Gerald the advantage. They have a plenty on the defense, and they just need to reconstitute themselves for some kind of offense here. Looks like the mid. They're they're moving back to the mid now. Spy and Father Xmas uh, smartly did not try to push uh, pressure that uh, attack up the planes. And they are going to uh, wait undoubtedly until they are reinforced. Those reinforcements are on the way. Lord Scariel there. Which means it is a defensive work. Gorilla is doing that defensive work. Hobbs moving up to uh, see if he can uh, in flank, envelop, spy here. As Lord Scariel joins Father Xmas. Overdose making a move into the swamps since he knows there's not going to be too much action there now. We, so it could potentially be a repeat of the last game. Uh, that was where Team Kryptos was able to sneak men into the backfield to win it. Team Kryptos doing good defensive work here, just holding, keeping, just a you know total holding action here in the mid and in the planes. Getting another kill there to close this up. Hobbs wants to go on the offense here. Will he be supported by Kryptos? MP Mint, Spy, and Lord Scariel. Karma. All of them sort of pulling back. Going mid and not watching Swap says Karma. He knows there's a threat factor there. Good heals there going down for Team Kryptos. The planes are basically being won now by Team Jarl. Excuse me, against Team Jarl. There is so much presence here from Team Jarl in the mid. They can potentially envelop this. That was uh, Kryptos with another great Zook against Spy. But uh, he's going to be collapsed on now, along with Hobbs. They are in a seriously risky position here as LSO and Spy collapse on them. It's just Hobbs. Kryptos was taken out there. Spy and Lord Scariel putting the pressure on Hobbs. 
who will wisely fall back. And uh, this will enable uh, Team Geral to put to begin to go on the offense, finally, from the planes. That was a great grenade, though, against LSO. Probably from Hobbs himself. Yes, indeed. Turning the tide somewhat, but the flag is capped. There we have it, folks. It was Overdose who snuck all the way around and walked onto that flag when uh, Team Geral was so committed on the mid. Didn't see it happen, but as you can see, uh, looks like a Zook went off. He must have, and uh, you can see body parts flying away there. So Overdose pulled that one off, and yet again, we saw, uh, we see another game that's won by that individual effort where uh, the rest of the team is kind of distracted, and uh, one of the players is able to exploit that to their advantage, which we saw didn't, didn't pan out so much in the final series, but in the semifinals has been the... Uh, name of the game as far as winning these objective-based games has gone. So brilliant work from Overdose there to win that one, especially considering that uh, they weren't down, but they were having a little, Team Cryptos was having a little bit of difficulty against the planes attack from um, Karma Spy and Lord Scariel, supported by Empymint. So on the numbers on that, as you can see, uh, quite even stuff all around. Schmelkes tried to get uh, through the backfield. He beat Karma there, but then was uh, finally countered by the flag defense. Uh, Gorilla was playing defense that whole game. Overdose with that game-winning move. Hobbs on the planes, uh, you know, most of that game and doing the big damage numbers, the big, the largest damage numbers for his team. Also, of course, taking the most losses for his team. And uh, Cryptos, who was supporting. Uh, opposite for Team Geral. Geral was on defense the whole game. Uh, didn't do too much, I can see there. And uh, ultimately, you know, must have sort of got confused and wasn't able to prevent Overdose from winning that. Spy was doing spectacular work on the planes. Uh, he was just going to town on some of these, you know, winning winning the planes basically twice is what I saw. Uh, Lord Scariel also played quite well as a, a supporting player uh, for Spy. And then uh, Father X Miss uh, Karma. Karma probably actually, the uh, Father X was doing good work, and Empiment was sort of, a, you know, as, as a support player there. Karma was probably the weakest player in that game. Uh, being that it was, like I said, he got defeated by Schmalkus in the swamps. His typical, his maneuvers here have been uh, contrary to what, well, generally, you know, he sort of flips between two modes here, right? So for Karma, what we see is either he's totally committed on the planes with the team, going for that, you know, massive body count, big hammer blow maneuver, or he lets the rest of the team uh, sort of stack on the planes or the mid, well, he tries to flip back and forth between the swamps and the mid. And that works sometimes, when, especially works when there's nobody on the swamps. But as we've seen in the last couple of games, uh, these guys, especially Team Cryptos, have been consistent on making sure that they had big presence in the swamps, which had paid dividends for them in these games. So in this one, it was another uh, win for uh, Team Cryptos. They were able to block the swamps attack. Even Schmelkis almost you know, made it into the backfield there. And then uh, finally, uh, the fact that they had cleared the swamps enabled Overdose to sneak in and win it with that brilliant Zook. Uh, just when things, you know, were looking a little testy at the flag for, uh, or at the uh, Plains defense for Team Crypto. So, of course, Team Crypto's with that player advantage. So, we'll hand that one once again uh, to uh, Overdose and Team Crypto's. There were, uh, I think he, Overdose, re, uh, re, you know, um, made up for his uh, crashing or drops in the last couple of games. But uh, the thing I want to emphasize about this whole uh, semifinal series for the Calvin Ball tournament was that this series, the semifinals, unlike the finals, were, were determined by individual players and even team captains making uh, critical decisions to go for the objectives in every game. <laughs> Pretty much, right? I think in every game. Whereas uh, in the finals, we saw just a, a much more body count intensive play and a lot more artillery, of course. Now, that is one thing to say about this. Uh, these uh, Carnage and S2 games, not a lot of artillery involved, except, of course, in the uh, Zookville game where you had the super cannons in play. So this one is going to go, again, to Team Cryptos, who did fantastic work. Uh, Hobbs and Overdose, in particular, were in position. Smelkis, Gorilla, Leonardo, and Xenophon were all excellent role players in their roles. And uh, Team Geral uh, sort of just, uh, in the end, did not have enough manpower left on the flag or the game awareness to realize that they were about to get capped out, which is exactly what Overdose did. Uh, so great work for Team Cryptos.